Hello. Good morning. So, it's a beautiful day in South Florida. Walking the dog. Miss Mowgli. So last week, I went to the 10X Growth Conference with Grant Cardone. It was live, 22 people, 2200 people in the audience, live. And they had, I don't know, 15 to 16,000 people online or more. One of the things that he talked about that I absolutely loved and have never heard in my career, and I've heard Grant say this before, is use your earned income, so your paychecks, your commissions, don't use your earned income to buy stuff you want. Use your earned income to invest and then use your passive income to buy stuff you want. So examples, if you want a fancy watch or a fancy purse, you should not be using your earned income because your earned income, if you use it to invest, it should throw off cash flow and then you use the cash flow to buy the trinkets you know, the nice things that you want, that you, sh you should use earned income to invest. So I love that. I wish someone told me that 35 years ago. I did have a mentor who helped me buy my first shopping center. He actually took me to a bank and co-signed a loan after he had asked me did I want to invest three times and even though I was making 60,000 in leasing fees and was married at the time so I had a husband making probably 60 or 75 this was back in 1988-1990 so we kept blowing our money we didn't have any money to invest and my boss partner got so frustrated with me and we knew that the deal we were going to buy, I was going to be the leasing agent. We knew it was going to be a home run. He said, this is ridiculous. After asking me three times and, and over a course of from 1988 to 1992, and every time they bought a deal that I said, no, I don't have any money to invest in it, it went on to be a great deal. People, they refied the, deal, the, refied the properties. People got their original equity back. Just great, great, great. He finally got so frustrated with me, he said, come on, you're going to go sign a loan to put in this deal, 50000 and we paid back the loan in six months. And from then on, I got hooked, right? I got the taste. And from that point on, I put 25% of all of my commissions into a secret, you know, not-to-be-touched investment fund and then went on to buy six more deals, invest in six more deals with him. So at the peak, we had seven deals that we were, I was a limited partner in, and then was able to, in 04, when my son was four, leave that company, go out on my own and start buying deals on my own account. But I, didn't follow the Grant Cardone advice early on in my career. I would take the money, and if I had money left over from after my bills, you know, rent, mortgage, whatever it was that I was paying to live, I would spend it. I had a Jaguar that I loved. I went to Hawaii, first class tickets, Four Seasons Hotel, the whole shebang. That's what I spent my money on. And if I had someone who would have said to me at the time, use your earned income to invest and then use your passive income for the fruits of your labor, that would have been, I would be, I'd have more properties today. I'm happy with the properties I have today. I have six on my own. I still have one of the seven left with my old mentor. 
he would hate that I would call him an old mentor. With my former, he's still my mentor, but my former partner, my former boss. So that's the lesson for today. Earned income. And he has a rule. He says 40% gets put away for taxes. 40% gets put into an investment account and you live on 20%. And people were asking him in the audience, how do you live on 20%? And he said, if you can't live on 20%, then you're living too high of a lifestyle. And or, he said, which I did early on in my career, he said, go get a second job. Get additional income. Do things to add to the top line. He said, you can reduce your expenses as low as possible, but you shouldn't put your time and energy in doing that. You should put your time and energy into building the top line, the revenue line. So, and, and when I first started at Terra Nova, yeah, there you go, exactly. If you can't live on 20%, you're not making enough money. So when I first started at Terra Nova, I think my salary, this is in 1986, was 18000 I had left the Heart Association and my residential real estate job. I had two jobs and I was making twenty six. So I took a pay cut. And I couldn't, because my license was with Terra Nova, I couldn't do the residential thing on the weekends, right? So I went and worked at Macy's two nights a week and on Sunday afternoons. So I did that. During, right at the beginning of the pandemic, we had this thing called the Freshman Forum where we had young people five years or less. We were coaching them because we didn't want them to leave the industry. Just stick it out, we'll help you. And I told all of them in the first meeting, go get a second job. One of the guys, Jonathan in Tampa, went, did that, went and got a valet car parking job at a top steak restaurant in Tampa and was making hundreds of dollars extra and that helped him weather the storm. So absolutely concentrate on growing your top line. You know, flipping is a huge thing. I know so many people that are doing flipping. So there's a lot of things you can do. We've got a lot, people go, I don't have the time. And I, you know, I, I, we all have the same amount of time as Steve Jobs had, Mother Teresa, Oprah. I think we can all find time. I always tell people, and they say, you don't, I don't have the time to do the exercise of torture, which is logging your day, like in a perfect world. I do this once a year, Monday starting at 8 a.m. till Friday at 6, every 15 minutes. It is painful. That's why I call it the exercise of torture. But, you know, you'd think, I've been doing this for over 20 years, you'd think that I got it down pat. Every year I find about three hours a week. <laughs> What's, wrong with, What's wrong with me? But, you know, you fall into bad habits. So my mastermind group, I just told them to do that this week. They're going to send them to me. I said, I'm going to find you three hours. How would you like three extra hours a week? You can make extra money on three hours extra a week, right? So, so those are my lessons for today really from Grant Cardone, buy from your passive income. And if you don't have passive income yet, no problem, but start putting money in a passive income account because like me, you never know when that, that knock is going to come on your door to be invited in to invest in a deal and you need to be ready. I was not ready. I was not ready twice. The third time I didn't have a choice. So thankful, thankful that he did that. So, but it's a great concept. And those of you that are further along in your career, I have a lot of friends that are in this career, you know, commercial real estate, 25, 30 years, and do not own anything. All their money's in the stock market. And that's okay. But if, 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 if the value between your two ears is you know, so valuable, why aren't you using that to find a deal and bring in partners? So, so that's my, those are my thoughts from the day. Hey, Eddie, all the ladies here listening, oh, what's the difference between earned income and passive? Sure. So earned income is the money you get from your job. 
So commission checks and salary, that's earned income. And passive income is if you go, let's say you buy a duplex and you get rent from the duplex, from the two tenants, that's passive income. So you're getting that money, that's, they call it mailbox money. You didn't have to work for that money. You made an investment and you're getting, right, your, your money's making babies. Someone, someone else on the stage at 10X this weekend said, I think, it was, I think it was Alex Rodriguez, but maybe not. Well, someone said, <laughs> scared the, that scared the crap out of me. I think it was Don Peebles, actually. Who's a, if you don't know who Don Peebles is, check him out. He said, your money will work much harder than you can ever work. Meaning, your money invested is a 24-hour money-making opportunity. We cannot work 24 hours. We need to sleep. We need to eat. But your money can keep working. ready unlike me I wasn't ready the first two times thank God he believed in me and pushed me to do do what he did because I wouldn't be I wouldn't have six shopping centers today without that so lastly got to do my little pitch I think there's to-do list. Let's connect. Um, Tracy invest, I think, in two Marriott hotels, but she'll fill you in on the details. My friend Janet Pappas owned, I think she sold some of them, but at the peak has owned six, 34 coach homes in a My husband came up because we bought, you know, 20 acres today. Love women that can do that. Um, Jessica Malcolmson, a leasing agent who wanted to be a shopping center owner and bought her first shopping center last year. Great story. It's looking for more now. And then the pièce de résistance, my new client and friend, Karen Hutton, whose father was the first Walmart developer, so this is in her genes. She has built over 200 multi-tenant shopping centers, developed them, and purchased them. And she's also built over 180 single-tenant buildings like15 months. I think she has 15 or 18 open. She has 
15 to 20 under construction and is going to open 100 in the next 12 months. Kick-ass lady. And she's going to talk about how she started picking up garbage in a shopping center. Not her dad's company, someone else's. Fascinating stories. And the whole thing, I just want to get one thing for the, for the attendees. If we can do it, so can you. And we just need to start. There are less than 6% of women in the US that invest in commercial real estate. We gotta change those numbers. And when I did, a, I did a LinkedIn poll a couple months ago, because I was trying to get to the bottom of this, because unless we know the problem, we can't fix the problem. And I asked, why are you not investing to my ladies? The number one reason was fear, 80%. The other answers were too complicated, don't like math, a guy told me it's too risky or it's too risky, and that they didn't have money. But 80% was fear. And I think we all know that the only way to get through fear is through knowledge. And that's when I decided to have this conference. We tried to do it last year. Obviously, we had to cancel it. It was going to be in person. It was going to be just rock solid. So we're doing it virtually. Hopefully, next year, we'll do it in person. Um, we're going to have breakout rooms where the ladies can meet other ladies. We have Q&A with all of the speakers. I am so excited. I, I am hoping today, between the hours of 12 and 4, or 12 and 5, to change lives. That's my goal. My goal is to change lives today on March 19th. So if you're interested, or if you know a lady, we actually have two guys signed up. Love my guys. You guys can come. Um, but you're in the 94%. So I'm going to be talking on, really to the ladies. So if you know a lady, and Josie's going to kill me when I say this, I think this is expired, but you could just email her or text her and say, Beth said, what we've been doing is I've said, she, oh, she's texting me right now. I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm going to do this anyway. If you have a mom, a sister, or a daughter, you bring them for free. It's $99. So it's really $50 if you bring a mom, a sister, or a daughter. So love you guys. I can't wait to tell you in my next four-mile beautiful walk how the conference did.